Okay, perfect. So um, let me share my screen. Okay, so. Um, Hello? Is it visible? Okay, great. Okay, so uh, today's session is going to be about creating uh, dashboards in Google Data Studio, or uh, we can call it uh, as a new, uh, its new name is uh, Looker Studio. So what's Looker Studio? We're gonna start with that. So Looker Studio is a business uh, intelligence or BI tool, uh, and it's also a data visualization tool that's used by uh, data analysts and other professionals in order to create dashboards and reports uh, to highlight and show their findings on their data uh, on, or provide the, their data insights. So it's uh, it transforms uh, our data from various sources into reports and dashboards. Uh, and the main thing that's uh, useful about uh, Looker Studio is that it can connect to various data sources like uh, Google Sheets, uh, Big queries and analytics and many more. It, it can also connect with APIs to uh, feed uh, or to show us a timely report. We can set a timer on it and it will fetch the data on a timely basis and update the report or the dashboard. So it's a very powerful tool and it also helps us to share our reports and work with our colleagues uh, in real time, uh, collaborate with uh, our colleagues in real time, as we have seen on uh, the Excel. So why do we want to choose uh, Looker Studio? So the first and the most thing is that it can give us uh, dynamic charts instead of uh, just static charts. They are more inter interactive when compared to the, the static charts and uh, it can create interactive dashboards and you can change these uh, matrices in order to have multiple visualization for a comprehensive view. And the second is it can, it gives us uh, the ability to communicate complex data insights with a clear and concise way. So it's better for uh, data storytelling. And the next thing is, uh, as I have said earlier, it's uh, you can collaborate with others easily and share your work. And you can also work, uh, you can also schedule it to work on a timely basis. Like, uh, like you can update the data uh, every two days. And if you set that timer, it will update the data and the report as well. And the next is uh, it's flexible data source. So it's, you can have, multiple uh, databases you can connect with uh, this Looker Studio. So the core features of this uh, the Looker Studio is it's seamless integration into the Google ecosystem. As you have seen, uh, the Google uh, ecosystem is a, a wide and very powerful tool. So having the ability to uh, integrate with these uh, systems is a big thumbs up. So and the next is advanced analytics and visualization beyond uh, what we can do using Google Sheets, right? And the next is this, uh, so centralized data management and government system, governance system is also integrated into the, the local studio. And I think I have said this before, it has interactive or dynamic dashboards for real-time data insights. And you can customize this, uh, visualization and charts easily, and the data mo model uh, it's also used for data modeling and transformation. So, we have seen Google Sheets, and they basically kind of do the same thing. So, I wanted to highlight the basic uh, comparison between the two. So, 
when we come to Looker Studio, we use it, it's ideal for advanced analytics and BI or business intelligence. So it's more of uh, an upper level and advanced tool than uh, Google Sheets, which we can use in everyday analysis and everyday uh, work. And uh, the Looker Studio uh, can connect directly to a live database and provide a live uh, da data visualization I have, as I have mentioned. So if you have a website, for instance, you can use the API uh, or your uh, database and connect this with this Looker Studio and it will uh, update the visualization or the charts uh, on a real time basis. Uh, on live, so it's live. Uh, and it also offers complex data modeling and querying. Uh, we're not gonna be, uh, dive deep into this one, but yeah. So go, uh, on the other hand, we have uh, actually seen Google Sheets. So it's ideal for basic dat data analysis and practice. And it's also limited to spreadsheet uh, based data manipulations. And it's suitable for smaller database and more simpler uh, Visualizations. Okay, so uh, I wanted to highlight these three uh, metrics that we are going to use when we are building our dashboard. So the first is metrics. Uh, it represents this uh, qualitative value you want to measure within your data. So it's what you want to me measure the metrics. Uh, and the dimension is why you want to do this. Why do you want to uh measure these matrices right we are going to see them uh, in detail you know, when we are when we practice them but i just wanted to give you some highlight and data range uh, as a name is actually uh implanted but it means it refers to the data pointers that we are uh, going to work on or whether the report is going to be relied upon uh, so I wanted to highlight these three points. So, uh, so far, how is it going? Uh, are you guys following me, understanding it? Oh, I'm too fast. Oh, okay. Which part do you want me to repeat, uh, Susten? Please, I, since I'm presenting, I'm not able to see your comments. So it's better if you raise your hand or speak. Uh, so, uh, so, 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 Susten, please go on. Let's start with the comparison between Luca Studio and Google Sheets, then we take it from there. Okay, okay, we can do that. Uh, anyone else? Uh, maybe uh, anyone that wants me to go uh, before that or cut that up? Okay, so, so uh, this one is what you're referring to, right? So, Stan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, uh, since we already have uh, some knowledge about Google Sheet, and what they both do is uh, kind of similar, I wanted to highlight where there are the differences between them or the comparison between them. So, Looker Studio, we use it in advanced analytics and BI, like when we want to have uh, to uh, dig deeper and have an, an advanced analytics. Uh, but Google Sheets are suitable for just simpler visualization and smaller databases, and there are not these databases are not live, uh, and the even the data manipulation for Google Sheets is limited to spreadsheet based uh, data manipulation strategies like average. Uh, I think you have seen this in the data analysis course uh, or session. So, but with Looker, you can uh, give even uh, deeper, dive in even deep, deeper. And the second, and the most, I think, uh, the most uh, interesting thing about Looker is you can uh, directly connect uh, Looker Studio with your database. And as the database gets updated, and the visualization will automatically update. You don't need to do the analysis again. You just need to make the pipeline once and whenever the database is edited or something is added to the database, the visualization in the local studio you have already made will be updated 
on a timely basis. You can set this time, uh, let's say, in a day. So every day the data the visualization or the chart will update depending on the update on your database. You're not going to work on this on for this session or for this week, but it's uh, I, I believe it's uh, nice to know uh, thing about Looker Studio. And uh, finally, so it offers complex data modeling and querying. So, uh, so uh, is that clear? So, step. Okay, great. So the and uh, these three metrics are what our parameters you you can call them is what we are going to be using when uh, when we are going to work on a dashboard. So I wanted to highlight them before we go uh, without deep. Uh, so the first one is metrics. So metrics is uh, answers the question what uh, is in our data analysis. So what uh, do we want to measure? So how much, how many, what percentage? These are the metrics. So you may have uh, two metrics depending on the chart you are trying to do. Like if you are trying to make uh, a line plot or a line chart, uh, you may you are being, you are going to be asked uh, to provide two matrices, the x-axis and the y-axis, so matrix x and matrix y. But if you want to just um, analyze a one data, it can also be available. But uh, what you need to know is matrix is what qualitative uh, value we are trying to measure or analyze in our data. But the one thing you, you need to understand is matrices are always uh, numerical values. They don't accept any other values, just numerical values. Uh, but dimensions are uh, answers the question why uh, we are going to do this. So it, it represents a category of qualitative aspect of our data. So we can use them to group or filter our matrices. So depending on our on our dimension, we will group and filter our matrices. Uh, so these dimensions could be uh, text or it could be number. You are not li limited in the dimension sense. And the final one, uh, as the name implies, is the range. So the data range refers to uh, the specific points that we are going to use in our report. So it defines it defines the upper and the lower uh, boundaries of our data analysis or what we are trying to analyze. Uh, so any questions uh, from what we have seen uh, so far? Anyone? Okay, if it's clear, can you give me a thumbs up or some reaction? Okay, perfect. So, uh, I wanted to um, have a uh, practical example, uh, so you can you guys can practice it. Uh, I, I will show you, uh, and you guys can practice it and use it on your own uh, data. So let me share my entire screen or window. I think yeah. Okay, so you guys can see it, right? Uh, it's not visible. Okay. Hello. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. I think uh, it's your. Network may, maybe because others are confirming. Okay, great. So uh, let's start with uh, looking it up. So you can look as uh, so Looker Studio. Okay, not this one. Okay, Looker Studio, and uh, you can 
ሰልክት ለሉካር ስቱዲዮ ሳይት and you can when you are prompted with this uh, you may need to create a new account uh, i've already signed in so i don't need one so then uh, what uh, you're gonna do is you're gonna create and you're gonna create a data source uh, and as i've see, said earlier uh, you can connect it with many uh, many data sources it could be a sql uh, non sql uh, data sources your youtube analytics so uh, your search console so it's very uh, powerful tool but uh, since uh, we are we are we are working on google sheets we're going to select it and all items and you're going to see this uh, so last time we did exercises so I will select that data and I I'm going to connect it. So this may take some time because your uh, data may be uh, a bit higher, but it, it shouldn't take more than uh, one minute max. So you, you can see your uh, data here. So age is a number, annual summary is a number, uh, business unit is a text, city and country. So this is automatically de de uh, detected by the uh, by Looker Studio. So you don't need to uh, add anything. So record count is automatically added by the, the Looker Studio app. So you're gonna create a report so this also may take some time, but uh, not as much as uh, connecting it with your database. So you're gonna add your report. So you can start, right? So it's easier uh, when compared with um, Google Sheets and it's powerful, but this is basically your uh, dashboard. So you're gonna, let's say I want, uh, to visualize the age so i'm gonna drag it and drop it here and i can resize it and i can also change the chart type so i want to look at how age age and um let's say matrix x and y as i've told you since this is x and y graph I can select the Y and I can see how the annual and the age is related. So you cannot draw any conclusion from this. So it's not related, you can say. Um, so other thing, when I want to compare the countries, so I just drag it, drag it and drop it. So you can also see how interactive it is, so I can just drag this by uh, this one, and it's easier, right? So more interactive, it's more dynamic than uh, what Google Sheets can provide. So you can do this, uh, you can use Google Maps or other things. Um, so yeah, just go wild with it. So I, what I want to do is, since your data is bigger, and if you want to filter it, you can just go here, come here and add filters. And you can choose, uh, for example, I think your is uh, date. So for this uh, data set, I can use higher date and I can choose where the start is and where the end is. And I can apply it and it will show me just the data from those applied dates. So you don't need, uh, it's much simpler than what we are used to in Google Sheets. So you can apply these things to your project. So you, you can filter by uh, the date, you can filter by the value of uh, any uh, of the, the given uh, rows or columns and so on. So uh, do you have uh, at least some idea about uh, how to use it? Okay, guitar seems to get it. Uh, what about the others? The others. Okay. So it's done. 
Okay, so any questions before? Um, so uh, I, I was hoping for some questions, that was why I was fast, <laughs> but okay, Ali. Okay, um, good morning. Yeah, please, um, I would like you to go over the integration with um, Google Sheets. Let's say if you have a sheet hosted yeah. like online, Sheet and then you want to inc uh, uh, incorporate it in the Luca for visualization. If 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 you can go over it again, yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. So we can actually okay. Let me show you how you are going to do it. Uh, connected with your file or do document, right? So I'm gonna go with so spreadsheets. So. Uh, you have you are going to uh, log in with your Google account, so you're gonna have the same Google account with your spreadsheet and uh, local account, so it will, it will automatically uh, recognize it. So when you go to all items that you are that's owned by you or shared by by you, you're gonna see the spreadsheets, right? So. Let me select exercise because this exercise, uh, this exercise spreadsheet is what we used last time on the last call. So in this exercise, there are three worksheets. So I'm going to select the one that I want and just select reconnect. Or if you are using it for the first time, it's going to prompt you to connect. So you just select it and it will be connected. So uh, since, okay, I haven't made any change, so it's not going to create anything new, but you will, you, you will see some, something like this and I will show you which ones are numbers. So if uh, this is rare, but this is AI, so AI is going to detect your uh, uh, column and give, give it a type. So if you feel like it's not the right type, you can uh, change it. So if, uh, for instance, it, it selected the text as a number, you can change, change it here. So, but this is rare case, but yeah, it's available if you want. Uh, and yeah, after that, you can go over and create a report or you can explore it actually. Explore means uh, analyze it. Like you can use your analytics uh, knowledge and apply it here. So you can uh, create a filter here what you want to filter and by what value, like your title, title and by what value you want to uh, export my, sorry, filter it by and you can filter it. But I would recommend you to work on your report because you have already done the analysis uh, on the Excel or on the Google Sheets. So you can just move on with this one. So is that clear? Uh, Ali? Ali, uh, is he still here or? Okay, I'm going to take it as a yes. Okay, perfect. So any more questions? Okay, is it clear at least? Okay, Leah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if there are no further questions, uh, just give me some reactions for confirmation and we, we can end this call. Um, I was saying. Oh, okay. You're on mute. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, I was trying to create a report. Okay. And I, I I can't seem to see the list of um sheet the Google Sheets that I was working with um before, even when I tried to okay. create a report. Uh, okay, you can share your screen uh, or and okay. uh, maybe yeah, I can help you debug it. Okay, just a minute. Okay.
so um when i i can't seem to find um the place where to add the report as you'd earlier indicated okay. okay i think uh have you added your data or your database so am i adding a data source or a report when no. i'm trying to link no, 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 add no. A data source yeah, yeah it's better if you start with by adding your data source but you you can also add data from here uh, so ah, okay is, yeah oh okay i think then i've understood thank you okay 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 uh, any other questions okay guys uh so if that will be all so if you have any more questions you can uh, write in the slack ch channels so thank you have a nice day